And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yo, so guys, welcome back to the Randy Reaction Channel. Today we are looking at Liam Payne talking trash on the Logan Paul podcast. Now, first and foremost, this means no disrespect to Liam Payne himself. I've seen a lot of clips of this and it's been a bit crazy, so I'm trying to see the full compilation of what's been going down on the Logan Paul Piddly podcast. They were, they were texting me, they said you're really fired up and you were, you were telling some good stories. Thank you, Dylan. I've got a lot of stories to tell. I'm talk about One Direction for a second, like what I think about how One Direction happened. It was after the Will Smith, you know, after the Will Smith event where he smacked Chris Rock around with his ace. Liam Payne did an interview and his accent was super weird. And I think after that point, it kind of heads were turned. Like, what's going on with Liam Payne? What's going on with, why is he talking like that? I hope he's okay, deep down, I do hope that. Cause you know, mental health is uh, no laughing matter, you know? I will laugh at this video, but you know what I'm trying to say? I have bad mental health, it's not funny. The reason One Direction was made was because of Simon's promise to me that in two years, I'll make this work for you. Wow. So he kind of started with my face and then worked around the, the, the rest. I've never told that story before. So you, you, were, wow. you were the inception. I was the honorary member of One Direction, yes. And he told me that story himself in his house. It's just very David Brent. It's just very David Brent, isn't it? So I was like, can I have five minutes to decide? This was just before One Direction was made. So I went out and I called my dad. I was like, dad, I was like, this is weird. I know he, I just told you I'm out, but they want to put me in a boy band. Like, what do you think about it? He said, well, you can either be 100% of nothing or one fifth of something. And I thought, hmm, very clever, Jeffrey. <laughs> very clever, Jeffrey, but no, to be fair, it is very clever, you know. Sometimes you gotta eat shit to make it, you know, and it's not even like One Direction is eating shit, you know. If you guys are following the story of Don Dolph, you know, Don Dolph's got a similar predicament. Does he wanna go and be the star or something, or does he wanna be part of something potentially bigger that can, you know, lev Anyway, I'm too deep into the no pixel stuff. <laughs> there are a couple of them, yeah. Which ones? Like Louis was wild. Louis was wild, and he wanted to be wild, and he's, that's his spirit. And also, he's my best mate now. But in the band, we hated each other. Wow. Like to come to blows, hate each other. Whoa. Like it was like it was close. But it's like his journey to mine was a little bit different. I was gifted every week with the fact that I got to sing the first verse because my job was because I'd done so many gigs before. They'd send me out to sing with a camera of 20 million people watching with the red light on and I wouldn't freeze uh, and then everybody else would go ah oh, it's okay it's and, and what you find in bands is whoever's not singing so much will find their, their voice behind the stage and Louis Louis did find his voice behind the stage and he found his voice later on in the rest of the albums I would happily say now without him doing that even though sometimes it was the absolute death of me he made all the right choices that I wouldn't have made so it's like the weirdest thing ever it was me leading the band from the front on stage and making sure everybody's in the right position and stuff. Oh. There's him from behind the stage. It was me leading the, the band from the front. Listen, he might not be wrong. I don't know much about One Direction. He might not be wrong. So respect where respect's due, um, if that is the case. But it's the way it comes across, okay? So it's not what he's saying, it's the way it comes across. So remember that, it's different, you know? It's just the way he's saying it. Critical decisions on what songs we do, whereas I'm like, I don't even know if I like this song or not. But he, he yeah. knew what, what we should be. He knew what he wanted to identify as. And, you know, that's yeah, why that's a compliment to Louis as well. So hats off to him. And I know you wouldn't mind me saying any of this, but he was crucial, 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 even without the singing at the start. Mm, mm. You, you said no, so what happened would be, <laughs> I mean, listen, this stuff just happens anyway, right? So we had a similar thing with, with The Wanted and with the Bieber one, I think it was me and I was, I was, we used to go back to the hotel and I'd, I'd get absolutely wasted. And we used to play this game called, um, a ring of fire with a card, you draw a card, each card means something, whatever else, you know, we do. Good game, good game. I mean, I fire extinguished someone's room with the power to fire extinguisher and he was orange for like eight weeks. <laughs> um, and so Funny. one night I was like in, in, on Instagram live at the same time, and like I was drunk at the time when I said it. And I was like, someone compared, some, said something about Justin Bieber to me or whatever. And I wasn't even meaning to offend him. I wanted to offend them. And this is where this can go wrong if you start fighting with people online for no reason. 100%. I was exactly. like, well, I mean, the only thing between me and him is I haven't been arrested. So then it started some like, Beef. <laughs> I'm a smooth criminal. I don't get arrested for anything. Um, <laughs> he has a good car, um, and yeah, and I think it was well Quite known charming. within the band that I don't like taking shit right, right. at a certain point. I made it very obvious. I'm not going to tell you how. <laughs> I made it very obvious. I'm not going to tell you how. Ah, uh, you know, it's just the way you're saying it, man. I do kind of feel for him at the minute. Um, and there was one moment where there was an argument backstage, and someone, one ma member in particular, threw me up a wall. So I said to him, if you don't remove those hands, there's a high likelihood you'll never use them again. That is such a British thing to say. <laughs> it's just an awesome thing to say. Wait, what, was, what did he say after that? 
Oh, he just took his hands off. Oh, amazing. <laughs> he went from Liam Payne to Liam Neeson in, yeah! like, two, in like two seconds. Why? He's like, I have a very unique... I don't know why you have your hands on me. <laughs> I have a very <laughs> unique oh, set of yeah. skills. <laughs> a very particular set of <laughs> skills. <laughs> Mine sounds more like Peter Griffin. I got a very particular set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? In context, in context, it's not as bad as it's sounded on TikTok. An experience with one of your, I know. One of your bandmates. Oh, you do? Yeah, and who's fired up? Do you know about Who's, this? Which band may we talking about? I already, I already think I know, but just throw it, throw it in the mixer. Our boy Zane. Ugh. Ex bandmate, I Wayne, should say. Wayne Mallet. When he said, ugh. What? Something happened where like Jake, Jake said, hi to, to, said hi to Zane, and he felt like your girl just spilled Coca Cola. Yeah, point, point the camera at her, put her on. Oh, I, I, I put her on. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Oopsie Daisy. He, uh, it's not good for you, anyways. Fuck that. He said hi to Zane, and like Zane, he, Jake felt like Zane was disrespectful to him, and he wanted to like say what's up. And so Jake tweeted at him, and then he was screaming in his hotel room because the rooms were right next to each other. He was, he was, he was, and there was a video of it online, screaming in his hotel room. Like I thought my brother was about to fight Zane, and then Gigi <laughs> tweeted. At Jay calling yeah. him like ugly and irrelevant, and that went crazy viral. And you know, Jake and is ugly. <laughs> that was good from Logan. Before we go too deeply into this, there's, there's, there's many reasons why I, I dislike Zane, and there's many reasons why I'll always, always Whoa. be on his side. Just if I had had to go through what he went through, through his, gro his growth and, and whatever else, you know, your, your parents are very supportive. Very, very. Uh, my parents are overly supportive to the point where it's annoying at times and they, they don't even mind me saying that. And Zane, Zane had a different upbringing in that sense and um, you can't, you can always look at the man for where he is and, and, and say, oh yeah, whatever, that guy's a dick, right? But at the end of the day, once you understand what he's been through to get to that point and also whether, whether or not he actually even wanted to be there. And it's also, a fair comment. I'm, I'm so it's just the way it my, comes across. by myself more than anyone. Like, he doesn't mean to be a dick, man. Just blame his parents. I can't sit here and dick on him because of whatever and listen i don't agree with any of his actions i can't commend some of the things that he's done i can't be on his side for that what i can say is i understand and i hope that <laughs> your only hope hope is that at some point in their life the person on the other end of the phone wants to receive the help that you're willing to give them that's all i'll say that's beautiful absolutely did we ever have an argument over a girl no i don't believe so i don't believe that ever happened was anybody ever with another girl that someone else was with I definitely think that might happen. Uh, and were you, were you guys cool? Me. Were you guys cool with that? Was it wasn't me. Was I asked them. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Like I wrote some of the biggest songs of all time. Like I have plaques at home for that crap. Like why am I walking in there like I'm, you know, green in the gills and my I, fingers I mean, suddenly I mean, don't work? It's yeah. me when we're talking or if there's a fan that wants a picture or somebody wants to come over. The moment's about them having their five minutes. So whoever they want me to be for that five minutes, I'll be. My dad called me. Oh yeah, here we go. You're gonna go solo. It's been his dream since I was a kid. His dream. Hmm. And I said, I'll only do it if the right song comes along, otherwise I'm not bothered. I don't want to tarnish the legacy I have already. I've done something that's already worldwide famous and I've got fucking gold records for it. I said, I don't need to do this. It's not important to me. Ed Sheeran wrote me this song and I thought, oh, shit. Oh, no. Here we bloody well go again. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Put your shorts up, off we pop. And that then, is David Brent, yeah, we did man. The, first song, the most David Brent. I think it outsold ev everybody within the band and I was the last to go. Oh, and I never God. expected that. And I'm sat there going, it's gone rather well, hasn't it? You could do it. <laughs> like when I get a bit wasted sometimes, my best defense mechanism gone rather so well, I'm scared it? of myself is to start to pretend to be other people. Hey, so, cut the shit. Parlay, parlay, parlay. Cut group, group the parlay. shit. Let's not talk about it. There's no one problem. Cut the shit. Nah, it's cut not, it's not right. I just was wondering. Parlay, just, parlay, I just, parlay. <laughs> Everybody stop. All right, you know what? Fuck it. Let's We're talk about, the captain here, let's okay? talk about Chris Rock and Will Smith. <laughs> Well, let's definitely not talk about that either. But Polly, everyone just stop for a minute while I drink good some whiskey. Good accent. Center myself before we talk about more crap about my life. Oh, okay. That's a good, that's a good that's Jack Sparrow. That's crazy. It's very crazy. <laughs> just constant entertainment for you. He called. Um, 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 I, I really, I really do think a, a fight between you and Bieber could be really interesting. I would buy merch. Oh, no shit. I don't it think would be one it. of the biggest fights. I would I buy merch. I think you'd be very skilled pussy? to do it. No, no, I'm not calling him a pussy. I just don't think he'd do it. <laughs> Why? For the same reason I wouldn't fight Trippy Red, I'm not his level. You're oh. That is true, too fair. But if you did want to do it. You think Bieber's not at your level? Oh, I don't bloody well know, do I? I'm off Captain Jet, mate. This is, That's this not a Pokemon card. That's just porn for weirdos. You say porn? Yeah, what is that, bro? 
I typed not in, weirdos, but people who are I typed in Doug Sorry, Trio penis, penis meat. Dude, I'm going to make toast. Doug I'm going to go home meat. and I'm going to make toasted turds. The biggest thing in a teaser I've ever seen. Like. <laughs> All right, well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Liam Payne talking trash on the Logan Paul podcast. Shout out to Edits by Steph for the sick compilation there. Thanks for watching, guys. What do you think? Do you think uh, he's meaning to sound this <laughs> arrogant and obnoxious? Or do you think it really is like some underlying deep issues, but it's the way he says it that doesn't come across properly? I think he's a bit misunderstood, if I'm being honest, now I'm watching this. Everyone deserves to be called out for what they have said, but everyone deserves to be treated with you know genuine respect to their core you know but yeah thanks for watching guys see you tomorrow Dolph out <laughs>